Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoyed this low-impact cardio and strength workout along with scriptures on who we are in Christ Jesus. You will only need a set of weights. Let's get started with the warm up. Go ahead and just move those arms, move your legs. We wanna warm up this body. We wanna work on our breathing, deep inhale and exhale. Let's do some hamstring curls. Just flex those feet and let's bring those arms across that body, warm up the shoulders and the core. If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, right? The old is gone and the new is here. Praise God. All right, keep it going. We're almost warmed up. One more time across the chest. Let's grab a set of weights. This first exercise is a squat and a knee lift. So take a deep inhale as you lower down into a squat, knee lift and press an arm up over the head. This scripture I absolutely love. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Isn't that awesome to know that God knew us before we were formed in the womb? What we're doing is working on the shoulders, working on balance, working on the legs. Keep that belly pulled in. And exhale as you lift that weight up over the head. You just go at your own pace and your own level. One more time. Let's go ahead and put the weights down. This next one is low impact repeaters. So what you're gonna do is bring one leg back and you can tap, just bring that foot front and back. Do some runner's arms here and you can bring that knee up. But I want you to do what's best for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a great future. One more, switch out those legs. Again, tap front, keep those arms moving. Bring the knee up if you want. And let's breathe, let's breathe through this. Inhaling and exhaling. God is so good to us, isn't he? I mean, I just love that he formed us. He knew us before we were born. A few more, last one. This next exercise, take one weight, bring the feet out about shoulder distance apart, go down into a squat, chop the arm one direction, and then go the opposite direction. For we, you are God's masterpiece. And he has created us new in Christ Jesus, right? So this one works the obliques, works the abdominals, the core, the legs. It's a total body exercise that I absolutely love. Just keep going, side to side, mouth open. We want a lot of oxygenated blood as we work out. And again, inhale lower. Exhale one more time. This next one, go ahead and grab both weights. We're going back to the squat. So position your feet about shoulder distance apart. Lower down and then exhale and lift. Same thing we did, very first exercise. See how very much your father loves you, for he calls you his child. He calls you his child. I love that. And we should have faith just like a child. Just go to your Lord, go to your father with anything and everything and say, Lord, here I am. Lord, I thank you for this day. Or Lord, I need help today to renew my mind in you. Help me to keep my thoughts focused on you today. One more, 
Going back to those repeaters, bring one foot back, runner's arms again, and tap. Remember, you've got that knee lift. Whew. Keep the uh, knees and the toes straight ahead. You are not your own, for you were bought at a price. So honor God with your body. And that's what we're doing. We're honoring God as we keep this body fit, as we work it out. Heart rate is going up on this one. One more. Switch out those legs, same thing. Repeaters. Knee comes up. Shoulders down. Posture and alignment is so, so important as we work out. All right. I can feel that heart rate going up. You can also modify this more. Three more and one. Let's go back to that chop. Bring the legs about hip distance apart, lower down and chop. Since you've been raised to Christ, you have a new life with him, right? So set your sights on the realities of heaven, right? Think about things above. Think about things above. Not on maybe your current circumstance or situation. Look past that into what God is doing in your life. And what he continues to do. Keep your mind and your eyes fixed on him. Shoulders down. Squatting. Chopping. Working the core. Working those hips and glutes. How are you doing with this one? This is probably on my top 10 list of favorite exercises to do for the core. One more each direction. Last one. Very nice job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies on Shaped by Faith. Let's go into a squat and stand up, hammer, press over the head, and then a tricep extension. So a lot going on in this exercise, press and tricep. Come back down into a squat and hammer curl, press, tricep. Very nice. Acknowledge that the Lord is God, right? So we should always acknowledge that the Lord is God and that He made us and that we are His. We are His people the sheep of his pasture. So every day, Lord, thank you for who you are in my life. You are my Father, Redeemer, and Savior. And again, go into a squat, last one. Hammer, press, and then triceps. Next one, just use one weight. What we're gonna do is a lateral squat walk. So just move one direction and then move back. You can make it real big, real small. You saw me before I was born, right? And every day of my life was recorded in your book. Isn't that awesome? Go to God and ask him about what he wrote about you because it's all good. Guarantee that God formed you, he created you, for his purposes, and those are great and mighty and glorious. All right, keep moving. How's your uh, thighs feeling this one? <laughs> and your glutes and your hips. One more. Last one. This next one we're bringing down to the floor. So we're gonna go all the way down. Hold one weight if you want or no weight. Go all the way back down. What we're gonna do is curl up, bring one knee in, and then go on back. So it's a knee crunch. Call it whatever you want, right? So working the core, he is so rich in kindness and peace and grace that he purchased our freedom with his blood. And he forgives us of our sins. All right, feeling this in the core. Again, you just move at your pace and your level. 
Remember to exhale as you come up and curl. You don't have to bring the shoulders all the way off the floor. You can keep them down and bring that knee back one more. Let's go ahead and stand back up and grab both weights again. So we're going back to the squat. So bring your feet in real good position. Sit down in your squat. Stand up, hammer, press, and then tricep. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. I love that one. You know, we can have eternal life with Christ Jesus. As we just confess and say, Lord, I want you in my heart. Please help me, Father. Please come into my life today. You don't have to know a whole lot. You just have to want Jesus in your life. And then he will show you and direct you and teach you by his Holy Spirit. One more. And let's go ahead and place one weight down. We're going back into that squat walk. So sit low, just move it just side to side. You also are complete through your union with Christ, who is the head over every ruler, leader, and authority. All right, working on balance here, working on legs and hips and glutes. I mean, I can feel this. You can go as low as you want. You can modify this also and just stand up and just slightly bend the knees, okay? So it really depends on where you're at today in your body and how you're feeling. Scoop that belly in. Keep the shoulders down. Again, walking side to side and working the outer thighs and those inner thighs. One more. Let's go back to the floor again. And let's repeat that one exercise. So we're gonna lower down carefully and crunch up, flex the foot, bring the knee in. Excellent as you do that. For at one time, you were in darkness, right? But when you met the Lord, he lit up your life so that you're walking in the light of the world. And his word says, so walk as children of the light. Be the light, right, in a dark world. Go out there and shine brightly. Be bold, be courageous, and be who God created you to be, right? Be that person, that person that loves him and loves others. All right, how you feeling with this one? One more. All right, let's go ahead and stand it up. You did great today, by the way. I know you did. Thank you for allowing me in your home. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the very best that you can be as we continue exercising and praising God together. He will bless our bodies and hearts for his purposes. It is God who made us, and he breathed his spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, the author of Shape by Faith. In my book, I share my stories of heartache and two open heart surgeries, along with my testimony to help encourage readers to never give up and to always trust God. The Shape by Faith fitness section will offer practical fitness advice to help incorporate fitness into your daily life. And finally, Shaped by God, because I strongly believe that fitness and wellness are both physical and spiritual. As a bonus included with each book is Pilates for the Soul, a faith-based mat workout designed for every level of fitness. Shop shapebyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. 
The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shaped by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.